Uh, shalom, shalom. This is the brother and one coming to you with another lesson for the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Giving all the praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Kakudash. Double honors as always goes to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well and peace and blessings. Salutations to the Archimedes that is doing this work. Truth and sincerity in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And also much love to you uh, believers out there. You know, the, the remnants that are destined for salvation. <clears throat> so you have to excuse my voice a little bit. Just a little bit, you know. Caught up with a little bit of sickness, you know. is in this in this uh, place, man, you know. Soon, you know, we're going to have new bodies. You know, we won't have to deal with this, but, you know, uh, for now. This is how it is. Anyway. I just wanted to do a lesson on this uh this wicked Edomite that you see in this picture here, man. And he's as you can see, he's from a DuPont family, man. You know, wealthy <coughs> financial bankers and all of that sort of business that they're involved in. And this is a story that's quite old, but I've seen it keep coming up in um, you know, like social media and things like that. So I thought I'd do a little lesson on it, just to show you, man, that there's a difference between us and them. You know, obviously the obvious one is that we are the chosen, man, and they're the wicked. But, you know, they are truly the wicked, man. <coughs> and this story is going to show you. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'll just start reading this here. So this is on February sixth, two thousand nine. So this is like this is what fourteen years old. This story. It says Robert Richards admitted to rape to to, you know. I'm not gonna read that. Say that part because, of YouTube, his three year old daughter. Says I feel horrible. He told the judge. According to court documents, there's no excuse for what I've done to him. He, he, he doesn't feel horrible, man. It's just that he got caught. All right. <coughs> if he'd felt horrible, if he had any feelings, he wouldn't have done it in the first place. That's his own daughter, man. You know, that's sick, man. And that's a, that's that's Edomites for you. And look, that's not to say that our people don't don't engage in this wicked behavior, man. But that's Esau's nature. All right. Yeah, the scriptures say that they've, Job said they're viler than the earth, man. I want to read these scriptures anyway, but I thought I'd just paraphrase that real quick. They're viler than the earth. Now they're the lowest of the low, man. It says his lawyer called him a six foot four, roughly 300 pounds Richards, a somewhat gentle person, argued he would not fare well in jail. Imagine that was a Jake and they were trying to use that in court. <laughs> that that shit wouldn't fly, man. That's the difference between, like, once again, us and them. That's another difference between us and them. It says, hours later, Richards walked away from Delaware Superior Court, a free man. After right, he pleaded guilty to a charge of barring his own daughter in the fourth degree and paid a fine of only $4,395. This is a uh, you know, billionaire man, and promised to attend a high end treatment center in Massachusetts, and that's just these all over, man. It's all about when they do things wrong. It's mental with their this therapy. I remember Paul Mooney done a funny stand up joke about that. You'd have to, you know, YouTube that to see it, but it shows the difference between us and them, man. You know, Jake can't play that. <coughs> That um, mental disorder card in courts, man. He's not going to get away with that. But according to these devils, we're not even human. So it says Judge Jan Jordan, who presided over the case, has initially considered sentencing Richards to eight years in prison. That was never going to happen. Not with his pa not with the power that his family has, even if she wanted to, and she <coughs> and she could have. She's a judge at the end of the day. No one would have 
no one would have thought otherwise if she did. But they're either she's a well, she's an Edomite man, so she's just as wicked as he is. They they have their soul is not upright as the scripture says, man. She says I have concerns. So she gave him eight years of probation. She says I have concerns about this because arguably you should be in jail for what you did. Jordan said during the sentencing, well, I think you have significant treatment needs. See? <coughs> that mental health again. But I think you have significant treatment needs that have to be addressed. And you have very strong family support. So unlike many unfortunate people who come before me, why is he unfortunate? He's got money and power, man. So much so that he can SA, SA his own three-year-old daughter and get away with it scot-free. It says, Richards did have support that most convicts lacked. Upon his release, he went back to living on the proceeds of his multi-million dollar trust fund, the result of being a member of one of Delaware's most powerful families, the DuPonts. While he never worked for or had any affiliation with the DuPont company, he still benefits from the family fortune, which Forbes valued at $14.3 billion in 2016 and dates back 200 years in the state. <coughs> this is an interesting part here. It says, Richard's also bene benefited from another remarkable stroke of luck. This is not a stroke of luck, by the way. It says, the case was missed by the local press and he avoided any negative attention that is until 2014. After his marriage had ended, his ex-wife Tracy Richards sued him in civil court for monetary damages caused by his crime. Suddenly, the earlier case became a national sensation fueled by public outrage, and many were astonished that Richards had evaded jail time. Many also wondered what role his fortune played in keeping him a free man. That's what that role, that 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 fortune kept his name out of the papers and the press, man. All right, that's what that that's how that didn't get into the mainstream media. <clears throat> you know, what about the justice, man? What about the justice for the daughter? She hasn't got any justice, man. Don't, doesn't she deserve some justice for that? So it shows you how wicked this place is, man. So yeah, there's plenty more to read, but I'm not going to go to, I just want to get some scriptures, man. I'm going to keep this relatively short, man. But it shows you who's in control of this earth right now, man. That a man with money like that can go and do that to his own kin and get away with it. Now, if you ask me, that, that judge, she's almost as wicked as he is. That's poor judgment. You know, we're not going to be judging like that, man. <clears throat> you know, the punishments must fit the crime, man. And him walking away, Scott Free does not do that. I wasn't going to get this, but I might as well. There's it's there. So yeah, Psalm 73, it says, uh, Truly, Yahweh is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone, my steps had well nigh slipped, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued, like other men, you know, they, uh, when you look at the prison houses, the scriptures talk about that, man, the prison, the prison houses are full of Israelites, man, not Edomites, they're in there as well, obviously, but <coughs> as a whole, Edomites don't get the same judgment as uh, Israelites do in this world, man, far from it, especially when the whole system is controlled by them. You know, you go to the courts, 
with the prosecution is Edomites, that the jury are Edomites, the judge is more likely going to be Edomite. And they have a code that they stick by between themselves. You know? <coughs> Verse 6 says, Therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than the, than heart could wish. <coughs> yeah, this man's like a heir to billions, man. You know? He probably knew that when he was doing what he was doing, he was going to get away with it if it ever came to light. I mean, that's some sick shit, man. It says, um, verse 8 says, they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They speak loftily, man. <laughs> they are corrupt. That's not, is that not corrupt? You know? Going to court for such a heinous crime and walking out scot-free. Shows you, man, the, the 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 people on this earth have very little power while Esau's in control. While these Edomites are running the show, you know, it's very hard to to get any form of proper judgment and justice in this world. Excuse me. Oh. I want to read this one quick. I'm trying to look for it. Proverbs 21 and 15 says, It is, it is joy to the just to do judgment. Yeah. So, proper judgment is a joy. You know, judgment goes both ways, man. You can be judged well for your deeds or judged badly. Or your judgment could be good for you. Let me put it another way. Your judgment could be good for your deeds. Or your judgment could be woeful for your deeds. And his judgment should have been woeful. But yet he got good judgment for what he, what he would call good judgment for his deeds. Because he admitted it, man. It's not even that he denied it and got away with it. He admitted it. He says, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. So he, look, all that money, that all that DuPont money anyway, means nothing. Because ultimately, you know, he's going to be destroyed, man. Because he's of the wicked anyway. The evil Edomites. You know, they, they're starting to know what their name is now as well. It's great. <coughs> Psalm 64 says, the Psalm of David says, Hear my voice, O Yahweh, in my prayer, preserve my life from fear of the enemy, which is the Edomites. It says, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. And them DuPonts, yeah, they are part of that secret council. Make no mistake about that. They are part of that secret council, man. They are big, big time, you know, family, I believe they're one of the 13th families, you know, that are basically ruling this earth, man, you know, so, uh, Job 9.24 always comes into play when we talk about the wicked, man, verse 3 says, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not, verse 5 says, they encourage themselves in an evil matter, 
yeah and like I said when I started this lesson man I'm not saying that only Edomites do this we know that's not true <coughs> but that's them you know, that's their way man you know, that, all that sort of um, wickedness that comes from them Says they commune of laying snares privily. They say, "Who shall see them?" And it's and you know who shall see them, like you know, especially with the, that power you saw in that in that um article, that they managed to keep themselves out of them out of the sight of the media for a while, and that comes from their power. <coughs> Job thirty says, "But now that now they that are younger than I have me have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Yea, where too might the strength of their hands profit me, in whom old age was perished? For want and famine they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness for, in former time, desolate and waste." Who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief. <coughs> to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in the caves of the earth and in the rocks. Among the bushes they prayed, under the nettles they were gathered together. So basically this is describing Esau, the Edomite, the wicked. Like animals, beasts. Verse eight says, "Yea," it says. Verse eight says, "Like it says, they were children of fools. Yea, children of base men. They were viler than the earth, and that's a vile crime that that guy committed, man. You know, three years old, man." You know, I've got a, you know, not to talk on my business too much, but, you know, I've got a daughter, man, and, you know, a three-year-old, when you really think about that, man, that's crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy, the physical and, 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 the, and the mental trauma that that, that, that kid is going to have and has received no, no justice for that, man. <laughs> I'm going to read this uh, Second Thessalonians 2 and 1 it says now we do beseech you brethren by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shemashek, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Hamashek is at hand. <coughs> that's right. And that's why we've seen all these things coming to light, man. These truths are coming out about these devils. Because their time is at hand, man. Verse 3 says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except they come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is the most high, all that is worshipped, so that he is as, so, so that he as, you know, as the most high sitteth in the temple of the most high, showing himself that he is the most high. Right. <coughs> On this in this world, man, that's godlike behavior. Being able to just do whatever you want and to walk away, you know, wiping your hands of it and walking away scot free, man. He's evil, man. If anything, he should have wanted ju to be judged. If he was really remorseful, he should he would have asked to be judged, man. He would have asked to be put away for that. But he's not, because he's the wicked man. Verse 
Verse 5 says, Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know <coughs> what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. So it says, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out. Who letteth, man? It's on both sides. Is allowing this devil to do his wickedness until it's his time to go. Verse eight says, "And then shall and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, <coughs> and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming." So yeah, you know these people like this. This this guy, this what's his name again? Let me get this devil's name again. So I forgot it. Robert Richards, the devil. Six foot four, three hundred pound devil. Yeah, man, his kind need to be taken out of the way, man. So yeah. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna close out on that one. So the uh, Lord is edifying. Once more, give all the praise on the Lord to your Hal Bashem, your Shai Bashem, your Kapodash. And with that, I will say Shalom.